Hey, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chris, as always, and today I'm going to show you how to install the JetBrains PHP Storm IDE on Windows 10. We're going to go through various steps. You are going to download it, and I will show you how to install it step by step. And I want you to go with me. The first thing that you have to do is to go on the website to get the copy of uh, this uh, JetBrains PHP Storm. I will go and double click on the chrome and you open like this one and you can go ahead and type php storm like this one let to write like this one and you press enter after you do that there will be um uh, this welcome screen and the first link that will come will be from this jet brains and i'm going to go ahead and click on the first link that appear here and i wait for a couple of milliseconds and this is now the welcome screen of this uh, PHP Storm IDE and it is, uh, it is listing that is the Lighting Smart PHP IDE. If you are a PHP developer, I want you to go ahead and uh, give a shot this. All right. And the good thing I like, ab I like about the JT brand is that they offer a second chance, which means that if you don't have money to buy their IDE, you can try uh, the IDE for 30 days and you have the evaluation copy. After you see that the, the lizards are the positive ones and you lack the ID, you can go ahead and buy it. Without further ado, let's go ahead and click on the download button. I'm gonna go and download now. It will start in a second so let's wait for this file to be downloaded it is not a heavy file so you have to wait till it is now done all right core cool. once our download is complete you can go ahead and open the setup you can go ahead and click on it like this one and you have to minimize the this clump so as to have a clean workspace like this one and the installer will restart that's in a bit you have to wait for a couple of seconds there we go and you can see now the instruction wizard is started go ahead and click next this is now the destination folder where it will be installed and in this case it will be in the c program files jetbrains php storm 2020 2021.2.3 this is the current version that i'm installing you can change the folder if you need to but i like to leave the default so as to have my environment learning without a hiccup so i'm going to go ahead and click on next when literally here you have to pay attention because this is where you make all the configuration and the first configuration will be about putting the php storm on the desktop as a shortcut I'm going to go ahead and click on the PHP Storm and uh, as a, a desktop shortcut and I will have to add this path to uh, my system path folder and what this do it will try to associate uh, this path with my path uh, from the system so as to ensure the proper running of my PHP scripts that I will be writing using this ID and I will have to run them inside the ID without needing any other third party alright go ahead and click on the next after you are done and quick thing that you have to keep in mind is that this feature of adding uh, this path will require to restart i will not restart my pc because i'm demonstrating and if it asks you to restart you have to to restart for yourself but me because i'm the one who is showing you this i'm not going to restart this one go ahead and click on next and next install and you have to bring the log so, so as to see what is going on here all right cool once you reach here it will ask you to restart and as i was told i was telling you i'm not going to restart my pc i'm gonna go i'm gonna go ahead and leave this checked i will uh, i want to manually reboot later go ahead and click on finish and on the desktop as we have associated our shortcut file to the desktop you can go ahead and see where the php storm is and double click to open it and you have to wait for a couple of milliseconds for this to be opened all right and you will see this beautiful interface from php storm and you have to wait for um this to start and once you start for the uh, the once you start the php storm, storm for the first time you will see there will be an option to import settings and 
where to configure or do any other things and i don't want to import any settings here go ahead and choose do not import settings go ahead and click ok until you continue to start all right you want to ask you uh for this let me allow access all right and this is now the screen that will come that will ask you for the activation and as i was telling you i was telling you that you can try this as a trial for evaluation and if you find this uh interesting you can continue with the licensing diversion and when i try to to start this trial uh because i'm currently logged in all right after that you will see now this is now the welcome to php uh, storm screen this is the welcome screen and you can create a new project you can open a project if you have made one you can go ahead and install some plugins of your choice if you want to uh, optimize your work you can go ahead and install some plugins from this tab but let me go ahead and create a new project to see if it will work and in this case when I, I press on create a new project there will be um, a lot of option here there will be an empty php project there will be a php storm workshop project there will be this composer project drupal a joomla wordpress plugin and all, all these things that you can choose from all right let me leave as a an empty php project and i'm going to call this one a uh, subscribe right like this one and i can go ahead and place on create and you have to wait for this to load the components and once the indexing is complete i'm going to go ahead and try to create a new file uh so let me click on here and to ask me to put the file name let me call this chris uh chris test for example using camera case and i place ok let's wait for it to be open then you can see now it will open php for us and i can try uh set some variables like um uh, for example let me say this greeting uh greeting like this one hello my subscribers i'm writing a lot of typo my subscribers please welcome well, okay, like this one so let me try to echo this echo uh greetings uh greetings like this one put semicolon and here too i forgot it let me try to uh, to close my php that is basically how you can now uh, install this php storm ide i hope you guys will find this very very interesting and helpful and if you met with any problem or error i'm now here to help you i can go ahead and comment down below and i will come and help you whenever you get an issue i will be there for you so thanks for watching this video give it a thumbs up and if you are coming on this channel for the first time go ahead and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one